Okay, so now that we've synced all our product data in there, let's actually go ahead and add our chatbot to Shopify. So the first thing you wanna do is hit publish. Now this is gonna make our assistant live. And whenever we make changes, you just wanna hit publish and that's gonna automatically update the agent. So while this is publishing, we wanna go ahead and actually add the web chat into our code. So if I go to the settings site over here, integration web chat, this is the script that I want to get. So let's copy this. And you'll see that there's some basic customization over there. To learn how to do more customization, we have a course on customizing the web chat, so you can go check that out. But we're gonna go to our voiceful store here, hit the three buttons, go to edit code. And we wanna make sure that we are in theme.liquid. So once we're in here, if you scroll down, you wanna find the body tag, so I can see it here. And I wanna add that below. So I can see there's already a script here, I'm just gonna add it right above. And there we've got our voice flow widget. So if I hit save here, Let's go and preview store. Hmm. And it looks like it hasn't appeared. Let's just quickly inspect and see if there was an error or if something is hiding it. So if I go down to the bottom here, I can see that it did load the voice little chat. And if I open this up, it looks like it's display is set to none. So if I check that box off, then I can see the widget appear. So this means that there's something in my theme that's overriding the widget or making it hide itself. So we're gonna go in and add one more line of code to our theme just to make sure that the widget is actually showing. And this may vary depending on the theme that you're using, but I'll include this snippet code below this tutorial as well. So let's go back to our store here. And what we wanna do is we wanna go right to the top where the head tag is. And this is where we're gonna add the following code. So what this is doing is it's just uh, saying that we wanna make the voice little chat widget visible and have that as um, a core element of the style. So you'll see that there's other styles in here that are setting certain rules for the website, which might override. So putting this at the top, make sure that it isn't overridden. So I hit save. Let's go preview store now. And bam, we have our chat widget here in the bottom corner. So let's go ahead and try out that product recommendation flow. Let's go to recommendation. Let's go personalized. And I'll say I'm looking for cool socks. So it's gonna go and find three most relevant products. I don't have many products on the store, so it's probably gonna come up with socks and two others, but it'll be able to give an explanation as to why it chose these three to be able to provide to me. And if I go ahead and hit socks, more info, that's gonna go and take me to my socks page with the chat widget right here. So that's how you apply to Shopify. You basically just add it into the theme.liquid file, and then you can add the CSS override at the top. Um, but that should get you up and going. And then I would highly recommend checking out our other tutorials on further customizing the web chat, building a support agent to understand how to really build out a strong AI agent for your e-com store, helping your customer answer all the questions that they have in a really quick and easy way, helping them find products and helping them figure out where their order is, alleviating your support team from all the tickets that are created.